Um, so the first speaker I would like to invite up is, I know, a favorite amongst a lot of you in this room for one simple reason. Uh, he is one of our elected officials that was able to see the writing on the wall and call for a prohibition on fracking. Senator Tony Avella. First of all, I want to thank all the groups and all of you for coming up to Albany today. We're here for a very important reason. Hydrofracking is probably the most serious environmental issue this state has faced in the last hundred years. And when somebody says to you, well, I think fracking is a good idea, what do you say back? No fracking way. No fracking way. <laughs> you're going to break up. You know, I'm sure they're going to do some uh, housekeeping uh, stuff later on. You're going to break up into groups and visit your elected officials, whether it be assembly members or senators. And I got a couple of words uh, for you to tell them. When you go and visit them, you don't want to hear any excuse about regulation. The only thing you want to hear is, I want a ban. There is no possible regulation or series of regulations that can stop that one incident that pollutes our water supply for a thousand years. We are not going to let that happen. And I know you've got a lot of speakers and you want to get to your elected officials, so I just have one other comment. If there's anybody in this room, whether it's an individual or an environmental group, that doesn't support the ban, shame on you. There can be no compromise on this issue. And I'm saying this deliberately because there are some environmental groups who are talking about regulation. When you do that, we're negotiating with ourselves. There can be no compromise on this issue because compromise means pollution. Compromise means you're not going to be able to drink your water. Compromise means New York State will wind up like Pennsylvania. We are not going to accept that. And I'll go even a little bit further. And some of my colleagues will probably be mad at me for saying this. But if there's any politician that comes to speak to you at this podium that doesn't support the ban, don't applaud. Make them go for the ban. Now, I have to tell you, and I, you know, I have the reputation for being quite blunt, obviously. This is a battle we can win because of all of you, because of the groups that support the ban, because of all of you doing this grassroots effort. If we continue this, we will win this ban and protect the environment for New York State for generations. No fracking way! No fracking way! No fracking way! No fracking way! So our next speaker, you can tell where he stands by his lapel. <laughs> Eric Weltman from Food and Water Watch. Thank you. My name is Eric Weltman, and I'm with Food and Water Watch, a national consumer organization that supports a ban on fracking. We're proud, we're proud to stand in solidarity today with our allies to protect New York from fracking. We need our legislators to take a stand to protect our health 
economy, and environment. We need them to support a ban on fracking, and specifically to co-sponsor and champion the bill, Senate Bill 4220A and Assembly Bill 7218A that would ban fracking in New York. There are two things, two things that are clear today. The first is that there is a powerful storm of opposition to fracking in New York. At public hearing and in tens of thousands of comments, New Yorkers from across New York, the state sent a message to Governor Cuomo, don't frack New York. The second, the second thing that's clear is that fracking is wrong for New York. The Cuomo administration has tremendously exaggerated fracking so-called benefits, in particular, vastly overestimating the number of jobs it would create for New Yorkers. At the same time, the Cuomo administration has downplayed fracking's tremendous costs to our health, our economy, and environment. Most fundamentally, fracking is inherently dangerous with risks beyond our capacity to regulate. In the final analysis, in the final analysis, there are safer alternatives to natural gas, but there are no alternatives to water. There are safer alternatives to natural gas, but there are no alternatives to water. Which is why we need our legislators to stand up for safe water, for healthy food and clean air. Which is why we must send a message to our legislators, to our state assembly members and state senators. The only, the only sensible and safe action is to ban fracking in New York. Ban fracking now! 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 Ban fracking now!